Folks, in the last video, we touched on how to speak to AI to get what you want out. In this video, I'm gonna go a step further with our part two, and we're gonna do context engineering. So context engineering is just the ability to put in information, couple that with a prompt. Now you get an even better output. Okay, so I'm gonna dive deep into this so that by the end of this video, you know how to speak to AI to get what you want out and with additional information and context as to who you are, what you do, how you operate or in this example who Elon Musk is how he operates with all the information and context about Elon Musk by the way guys I am Josh O'Sullivan I've built and scaled my own AI company I am building and scaling a hundred million dollar company showing people just like you how to do stuff just like this I've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in doing this stuff so that you don't have to let's get into the meat veg and the potatoes Oakley Doakley do so last sesh we build out a prompt, how to speak to AI, to get out what you actually want. We gave a role, a responsibility, a task. We gave it constraints and limitations. And then we put some limitations around the currency, the emojis, all that sort of stuff. As you can see, we've got something pretty funky just here with this bad boy. Now, if you jumped into the description down below, as is with every video, I give you guys a little takeaway so you can start to put this into practice. But today, we are diving deep into how to actually give it even more information and detail. So such as this, with a prompt, you can see it's given us a framework. And it's done that, it's gone away and looked at who Elon Musk is, what his principal framework is, and it's turned that or interpreted that information and given us our output, a clear and concise step-by-step -step framework. What if we wanna take it to the next level? So the concept I want you guys to try to think about and understand, think of the journey that you've been on right now to get to where you are today in life. The information you've downloaded, whether that be going to uni, going to school, if you're in America, going to college, you download information, a professor, if they're a good one, let's hope. They give you the right information, they give you the tools so that you can excel in a field, go out into the world and then put that into practice. AI is no different. Conversation AI, ChatGPT, building an agent, it's all the same stuff. We have to give it a brain of information, and knowledge, power that it can utilize. At its current state, ChatGPT is using the information it has based on the instructions we've given it. We wanna take it a step further. We wanna actually give it more resources to utilize. Now, if you have a bunch of files and information that you've now put into practice for your template, this is where you wanna add additional resources, whether it be a book, maybe it's an Excel spreadsheet, maybe it's a huge file of data. And that information we wanna insert into ChatGPT, it's then gonna read that stuff. So. It has the capability to read the information inside a PDF, a spreadsheet, a CSV file, it could be a text file, and I'm gonna do that right now. So what I've got is a book, and that book is Elon Musk book. And that's how simple this episode is gonna be, right? Providing it context with information. All you gotta do, drop a file in there of information that you want it to read and reference. Much like I'm having a conversation with you, I'm gonna reference the information I've got stored, locked away in my brain, and I'm gonna use that in a conversation so that I can give you the right information to do what you need to do with that in that conversation, okay? So if I just drop that file in with no input or instruction or anything that I want it to do, it's just gonna do whatever it thinks it should do. And we don't wanna give AI that kind of power. We wanna give it clear, path and direction as to what it's supposed to achieve. So we couple that with another prompt, okay? So you, you can very much just use this and just say, hey, improve the prompt, right? Or improve the framework. But we wanna recreate Elon Musk right now, okay? I can type it here like I was previously, or you can use the dictate feature. So this, you know, sometimes it gets it right, sometimes it gets it wrong. Fortunately, I've put this together for you, which is our input. So same thing, role, task, context, instructions, constraints, but now I'm gonna add additional skills. So skills, 
Much like us, we acquire skills through life and expertise and knowledge and resources. We then want to give ChatGPT an understanding of what kind of roles, responsibilities, tasks, context it's got access to. Now, it's got this file and folder. So above it, above our input, what I'm going to say, use the information provided in this PDF document, extract all of its content, fill out the below input, and in addition, I want you to then create or recreate Elon Musk for me so I can utilize this in another conversational AI tool like ChatGPT. Utilize this information, download these resources, read it, and execute this on my behalf. So that right there is something called a user prompt. That's me, I'm the user. I've got this information. I'm the user inputting a prompt of information and I'm giving it the constraints or I'm giving it the direction that I want it to take. I want it to utilize. Now I'm just changing the Z's because that's American English. For me, Aussie, I want to utilize this and keep directing it as Australian English, right? So utilizing this as a user prompt, we then want it to create and utilize the context here to improve our additional prompt so it can act as Elon Musk. So this you combine prompt engineering, which is the base of how you speak to AI to get out what you want. You can see now it's reading our document. It's processing and thinking about the information that it's got. That is like fuel to a Ferrari. You can just power this bad boy, give it all the saucy bits like this, give it scope, context, and fill out all this information. That superpower now you're unlocking, the capability for it to take all that information from that PDF, extract it and utilize it at, as it's as best as possible, right? So you can see how much better our prompt has gotten. We've got a basic framework here, five step framework as an output, and we've got a basic sort of template, but now the details that it's going into, Elon Musk giving us background and context, right? Task going into detail about the information that's got held within this PDF. If you have more documentation, you've got maybe a YouTube transcript that you really like that somebody said. Maybe it's you, maybe you've got your CSV file and you wanna recreate yourself to write emails. Utilize context engineering and pair that with prompt engineering so you can improve the kind of information or persona that it will build as you can see. So that is how you take now ChatGPT operating like everybody else, prompt it correctly. Now you're operating at, let's say top 10%, give it context, you're oper operating at like the top 1%. People just aren't doing this stuff, okay? So as I said, by the end of this video, you'll be able to utilize context engineering. This is the key to unlocking AI. This is the key to using it to its best possible capability. And if I was to give you a hammer and then you were gonna use that for a purpose a hammer is not intended, you're not going to be able to unlock the power of the hammer. AI is the same. Use it right, use it effectively. I'm giving you all the information you need to unlock it. So I hope you've enjoyed this thus far. We are just dipping our toes in to all of this saucy stuff. So I will drop down in the description a template and a context file that you can use for this very purpose with the exact framework that I've just come up with here so that you can go and unlock what AI or ChatGPT, any tool that you choose, the true power behind it. You can use this for anything and anyone. Stay tuned because coming up, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use all the different tools that ChatGPT has to offer and which, whether it be free or plus, which account you should utilize. See you in the next one. Let's get into it.